thorny and thorny and stubborn pain at her waist. And when she heard that our father was coming, that she was very happy. She was praying for his journey mercy. And when our father came, she came here and she received her healing. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please check your body. As you are checking, come out. There is room for you to share your testimony. Check your body. Something has dropped upon your life tonight, and you can never go back the same. Check your body. The miracles are there. Our leaders, bring them out. Interview is going on there by my left-hand side. Let's hear their testimony. The next testifier, please. Here beside me, we have Philip Sean. He is here to testify of 15 years unemployment taken away that happened after the prayer of the man of God at the last October edition of the Global Crusade. Can we hear from you? Praise the Lord. I am Philip Chung as your head. I'm coming from Gatikalu government. Gatikalu government, uh, Gatikalu region, at Karaba State. I, am, I graduated in 15, I mean 2007. And up to that time of that October, I had no job. I tried, I tried, I tried, I applied on TIG. I, I got tired and I even stopped applying because I got tired. But um, at that um, October Global Crusade, a sister gave a testimony that struck me, struck me very well, and I bowed down my head. I was crying. I was saying that God, if you can do something to something like somebody like this, I'm not far from you. I know that God yet has been seeing or he has been hearing all my prayers. That's that guy with the testimony that she graduated and for some years she gonna have a job. That God gave her a job right the prayer of the man, the prayer of the man of God. So I bowed down my head, was crying too. And one of my dad, my pastor came and and struck me and sent me to region to region headquarters where I should go and bring. Uh, Fuel for generator because our generator was going, the fuel was going out. He didn't even know what was happening to me. I was like, Haba, he would allow me to cry. I didn't even know that God just want, didn't want me to allow people to hear my, to see my tears. So I just went to the region, I brought the fuel. After I, you know, as I brought it, the ceremony was over. But I didn't know that God heard my prayer, that my cry at that time. I, after that, that's how things began to roll over and turn, turn, turn around, turn around, turn around. And to the, to call the whole story at, at the whole short job at uh, short by January this day I got a job without interview and after I begin the work before I the, I the request praise the Lord thank you he got a job without interview because he trusted in the prayer of the man of God and God did it for him. Uh, my cameraman, do you see those sticks that are raising up? Show the stick to all. Show those crutches that they are no longer using. And please, test, uh, interviewers, don't waste time. Interview them. And it's like our hands are weak. Why can't you put your hands together? When you see stick following sticks, crutches following crutches up there, I can see. I don't know whether you cannot see. Put your hands together. I will not stop you until you clap very well. I will not stop you until you clap very well. The joy of the Lord must fill your soul tonight. The joy of the Lord must fill your heart tonight. Please, interviewers, release them. Release them. Let them give testimony. We have, we have enough time. Please, want to hear more testimonies. Next one. Next testifier. What we call in medical parlance, post-operative adhesions. That is where some parts of the intestinal you know, materials get glued or get adhered to themselves. So over to you to share the testimony. Children of God, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I am Sister Faith from Duse Group of District. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. That was in the year 2020. 
I was diagnosed of rupture appendix. I was taken to teaching hospital Edo. So the appendix burst in my stomach. It was uh, after three weeks that the doctor discovered that it was rupture appendix. So after the operation, I developed some complications. My stomach was getting worse, swollen, and biting worse than before. So our father in the Lord was having power night. Our local government pastor called me on the phone. My husband told the local government pastor that I can't talk because he don't know what is going wrong. So when the doctor come over to my place, they were asking me some questions. When I opened my mouth to talk, I can't talk. They say I should relax. So when the local government pastor called, my husband said, my husband handed the phone over to me. And our father in the Lord was praying. So our local government pastor said, I should have faith and believe that God will make it again in my life. As the man of God was praying, I saw myself saying, amen, amen, amen. And after the prayer of the man of God, I told my husband, I feel like throwing up. My husband brought the bowl. I vomited blood. I vomited pus. I vomited everything that was disturbing in my stomach. And that's when I had relief. I felt the joy of life again. And God granted me another second chance to live. Praise the Lord. Join your hands together. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Supernatural connection. Just on phone. And God healed the ruptured stomach. And God healed that situation that could have led to her death. Tonight, God has done your own for you. Let's listen to the next testifier. Please release them, release them, release them. The next person. The next testifier, please. Mention your name, what happened to you, and what God has done. Here beside me is Miracle Tanko. He's here to testify of some eye uh, challenges he had, and how after the prayer of the man of God, he received an instantaneous healing. Over to you, Tanko. Praise the Lord. I'm really grateful for God's healing over my life. Since 2020, I was having this issue I could not see things far, uh, far off, so I've been praying and believing God. I went to the Nobis Eye Center here for treatment. They gave me eye drugs. I used the up to no avail. I was giving glasses. The glasses I was giving, I just dumped it because I was feeling shy of using glasses because they were too large, and I was, I'm not thinking that I'm too young to use glasses. So I just came here. I was praying, believing God since the one of the program. I was believing God, praying and believing God. After the man of God's prayer, I just realized that I could see the writing right on the screen here. I was under that tree there. I could see everything clearly. Praise the Lord. Your hands together. Can I help you to clap? Can you clap? Can you clap your hands? Can you clap your hands? Tonight, your miracle is there. Can we have online testimonies? We are coming back to you here again. Please, online testimonies. Online testimonies. Okay, while the online people are getting ready, let's have one more from here. Please bring the next person. The next person.
Can you see the witch here? Sorry for interrupting you, doctor. I can't hold my peace. I can't hold my peace. Praise the living God. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. We are the Ubangiji. Anna <laughs> Sena zona buna ina jira abinda Allah zai So yau ki iko ubangiji Tauri a babamu kuma yi wanda yayi mana adua a yanzu na samu lafiyar jikina ina ce ma Allah na gode dun daga baya ban iya yi haka da kirjina ba Nai haka sai ciwo ina sun kuya da kyar nake tashi amma gashi yau ina iya sun kuya kunne na ga Did you see her? Can you see her? Can you see her? She said at before she came this the miracle happened today her waist something was there like a stone the same thing in her ear what she was demonstrating, she said before today, if she bent down, it would be difficult for her to stand up. If she bent to the back, it was a problem. To the right, it was a problem. To the left, it was a problem. But tonight, that she could bend to any corner, any part of her body now, she is whole, she is well. Put your hands together for the Lord. Let's have the next testimony. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, the next testimony is coming. Let's online. Why, why the next one is coming? Let's have online. Online. We have great things happening online, and we bring you some of the testimonies now. We have this coming from Falegon Grove. Um, this person, her name is Sister Komolafe from Ire Komi District. She testified of how she's been suffering from high blood pressure. In fact, she was billed to travel on the first day of the crusade, but because of that, she could not. So she attended the crusade that day. And as the man of God was praying on that first day, she felt a change in her body system. She checked herself later and discovered that the high blood pressure had normalized. Praise the Lord. Adeyemi Ruth is 30 years old and had been suffering nightmare for six years. She had been patronizing herbalists for help after the dream. And uh, Akoni Alice, one of the siblings, Olushola Samuel, was living in the village in Niger State and had an accident in January. And he had been in the hospital since then. But at the crusade, he rose, he, he raised his hand up on behalf of Olushola Samuel. And after the prayer of the man of God, instantaneously, that pain disappeared and Olushola is able to walk again. Praise the Lord. 
We now take you to a testimony, a video coming on your screen right now. The lady that you are watching on your screen had suffered insanity. The name of Joma Alexander from Anjogo, Ingo, in Opogo region of Benue State. She, Opogo region of Benue State, she had suffered insanity for nine years after the prayers of the man of God. That insanity vanished. And as you can see her, there she is at the middle. You can see her that she is now completely calm. This person you are seeing calm like this from the story we have. We're not able to bring you the audio because of the quality. But the story we have is that she has now been completely set free. Praise the Lord. We bring jam those hands together. Jam your hands later. together. Let's listen to testimony from Bishop Nweze. If you don't know how to give testimony, let Bishop show you how to testify. This Bishop you see walking, coming down here like this, it is a miracle. Bishop, let's hear your testimony. Bishop, you can stand there, or you just come this way, and let... Praise the Lord. We thank God for bringing our general overseer with this gospel of life. I am Bishop John Mwenze. I have been sick, paralyzed with stroke for over seven years. Yesterday when I came here, there was nobody to take care of me. Then the ushers would say, ah, there's a book there, as, a, as you came, who will take care of you? I said, God will take care of me. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and to the glory of God, when the man of God who had been also my instructor in IPTC, was ministering. And when he started praying, I saw my legs that I was not able to, to, to carry, like you can see now, they carry and where where. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Bishop is marching. Hallelujah. And so I, I was unable to carry. But when he was praying, I started seeing my, my leg was jacking. It was jacking at the knee. It was strengthening. The, 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 the bones were adjusting. I was hearing everywhere. Put your hands together <laughs> for the Lord. And to the glory of God, I, never, I couldn't know how to climb the, the steps. But when that miracle happened today, I climbed the steps. Hallelujah. 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 They wanted, I, they, they wanted me to pay 4.5 million. And I was to, 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 be, to be taken to India to, for the treatment. But God has done it for me. Praise the Lord. See, this type of clapping, when you are doing it, you stand up. Stand up and clap. Rise up on your feet and put your hands together. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, I know Bishop very well. In fact, almost every global crusade, I'll send my car to pick him to the church. They will pick him down, they will take him back. Sometimes I will hold his hand myself to enable him to climb. Look, in fact, I was surprised when I saw him coming this way. Ministers here, they know him. But we thank God. See him walking, climbing that step, and going down this step. That was why I wanted to say, Bishop, stand there and testify. But I didn't even know what God has done. 
Put your hands together for the Lord. Next testifier. That miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Beside me here is uh, Sebastian Mfo. He has a striking testimony that happened this night after the prayer of the man of God. He is uh, three years completely blind, but now he can see. Over to you. Hallelujah. Praise it's happening. The Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. Ka time, Baba. Pat is my Lord. Let us clap hand for part two time. <laughs> my name is Mpho Sarasin from our born world. I've been a Christian for Baptist Church and so far three years. We seek. Specialist hospital. Year before last, I, I enjoyed my asthma just here to out. But immediately I just said, party come. Pastor Brother J. He invited me. Immediately now, I don't live here, I work at MTL. We thank God for my life. God should live, prepare, give, prepare long life and prosperity. Amen. Can we... Hold on, hold on. Just uh, test him with your hands, your fingers. Just, uh, what is this? One finger. One finger. <laughs> fingers. Three Two fingers. fingers. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Three years blindness gone. Three years blindness gone. Everybody say gone. Say it again. Gone. Say for the last time. Gone. It shall be permanent in Jesus' name. You know, what God has been doing here since we started, marvelous, incredible, wonderful, supernatural. Let's listen to further testimonies. Another one is happening there. Abu Mama Ki Yesu Tonight is harvest of miracles. As people are testifying, you can see more coming out, more raising up their stick there. I pray God will give you patience to listen to testimonies tonight. I pray God will give you patience to listen to testimonies tonight. See another stick far there in the congregation. I wish a good cameraman, God bless you. Anywhere you see, put your camera there and let the whole world see what is going on. Harvest of miracles. While we are preparing for the next testimony, let's take one or two from online. Great things are happening online. Online, please. Online testimonies. Confirm, just as you said, sir, great things are happening online. We take you now to Port Harcourt. We have a live testimony from Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria. Port Harcourt River State, live. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I thank God because of his mercies upon my life. By the grace of God, my name is Brother Chima Marcelinus of Kala District, Rumokuta Group in Port Harcourt Region, River State, Nigeria. What happened was that sometime in 2018, I was knocked down by a high fever. And after then, I noticed that a yellowish pus used to come out from my left nostril. And when I went to the pharmaceutical uh, people, they told me that um, I have upper respiratory infection. And since then, this catalyzed something that is offensive 
comes out steadily from my left nostril. But I thank God that after the prayer of the man of God in one of the global crusades last year, he told us that wherever you're having the problem, just lay your hand in that place. And so I laid my hand on my left nostril, and after the prayer of the man of God, it dried up. Praise the Lord. We have other testimonies. Nigeria. I want to testify what the Lord has done for me. On the third of this month, I fell down from pavement and I somersaulted two times. And then it affected my left leg and the bone. So the bone disconnected and I was not able to walk properly or not able to squat or not able to bend. So on the first day of this crusade, when the GS was praying, I laid my hand on where was paining me. And at the last amen, instantly, I didn't feel any pain again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It was wonderful. He cannot say all that happened to him. My brethren, I say, even in the house, I'm the mother. I could not eat. Even sometime by 2 o'clock midnight, I, whether I should carry him, he's too tall. I cannot carry him on my back. Even to the church, we have been dragging. But that day, GS kept on emphasizing on the disconnecting bow come together. Scatter bow come together. I said, Daniel, this is your case. And today, our faith will be joined together, and the Lord will do it. And the Lord did it instantly after the last prayer and amen. I said, Daniel, exercise yourself. Bend down, he bent down. Scott, he scored. Praise the Lord! We now take you to Lagos for a striking testimony, after which we take you to Calabar for another one. Indeed, this is nothing but supernatural. It is a testimony of a 10 weeks old baby who had a near and medical practitioners believed that a baby will have to be surgically operated, to, operated upon. But after the global crusade in January, the baby received the supernatural. The ania was looked for and it had disappeared completely. Praise the Lord. And now we'll take you to Calabar Live. Calabar Live. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. This testimony is coming from Igbo language group, Calabar, South South Nigeria. This mama you are seeing here, she had... Uh, a problem at village. She was suffering from hernia, and uh, she went to hospital. The hospital decided after undergoing tests, the hospital decided that she will be operated. She will be operated. Now the daughter know how to run room and uh, see the need to bring her to Calabar here. And when she brought her to Calabar and took her to one of the uh, the hospitals here. They confirmed that she will be undergoing uh, operation. But as the daughter was considering the year, the, the her years, the age, and she thought it, you know, whether to undergo that operation or not. But as we are having, as we had the global crusade, showers of blessing that were conducted at Uyo. So the mama came for the crusade, at that crusade, the Pastor prayed, Pastor W. Kumanyu prayed. After that night, she went home. According to her, she said she was sleeping. And a personality appeared before her and began to ransack her, touch her from the head to the tomb at the lower abdomen where she was having the, the pioneer and removed the hyena. Praise the Lord. As she removed the hyena, she began to sweat. She woke up. And by the time she woke up, she found herself that the hyena had disappeared. And she looked for the hand, she couldn't see again. So what she could not be able to do, she began to do. She can walk now, she can exercise herself, she can rejoice. Till then she has been rejoicing the joy over everywhere. Praise the Lord! Praise! We'll turn 
to the state of overseer, sir. Hainia disappeared. You will not see your own anymore. Next testifier here, please, quickly. Let's see how far we can go. Remember, tomorrow, 7.30 a.m., we shall be here for Supernatural Sunday Worship Service. Keep the time and partake in the service of the last Sunday of this month. Hold it, hold it. Very quickly, the next testifier. Beside me is uh, Bulus Umaru, that has mental disorder for 15 good years. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, 15 years, mental disorder vanished away. Here is he. His, this is his brother who also collaborates. Uh, his uh, testimony. Over to you. In the language. You're supposed to explain what happened with him. Give his brother to explain what happened um, to him. Okay. So, Matanik, you are in Dharma. Okay. So, okay. She. Ya yi makaranta Bible school abin primary school ya gama ya sake ya yi seminary ya gama to shi wona ya same shi atako na sha fama da shi shekara 15 to gashi nan kuma yanzu haka yana chemini da muka zo ayin mana adua yashi yanzu abun da sauki yanzu ya samu sauki na she ka samu sauki yashi ya samu sauki ka samu sauki yashi ya samu sauki shi so na na gode shekara shekara 15 yana fama da shi wannan 15 years, 15 years of madness and abnormal behavior. Mm -hmm. Now, he asked his brother, how are you now? What the man has not been saying before, he now said, I'm all right, I'm normal, I'm well, I don't have problem again. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. That miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Your miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Next testifier. Next Beside testifier. me here is uh, this young man, Ruben Membe. Uh, he has been deaf and dumb for 13 good years. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he received instantaneous healing. Supernatural. Here is teacher beside him who will collaborate. Supernatural. Over to you. Praise the Lord. Uh, this uh, brother, by the grace of God, after the prayer, uh, we tested him when we count one, two, three. Up to 10, he repeated after us. So I will repeat, I will do the counting, and he will repeat after me. There. Dad. One. One. Hallelujah. Two. Three. Three. Four. Hallelujah. Five. Five. Six. Six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Please. He's from Jalingo region. Supernatural clapping. <laughs> Supernatural joy. Supernatural joy. Hold it.
Amen. Let me tell you something. Before the crusade, we were praying that those brethren in Dev and Dom classes, that God should bring them for testimony. Since yesterday, we've been hearing Dev and Dom getting here. More will be coming. That brother, that pastor is their teacher, their interpreter with sign language. He knows all of them. Your, your miracle is there. Let's listen to the next testifier. Beside me here is uh, Blessing Adewumi. Uh, she has what we call persistent bleeding from the gum for 14 good years, mm. months. Okay, 14 good months. Mm. And after the prayer of the man of God, the bleeding vanished away. Over to you. Praise the Lord. My name is Blessing Adewumi from Gipa Life Bible Church, Ikari Region, Taraba State, Nigeria. I'm here to testify to the glory of God, what he did for me through our Father in the Lord during the wonders of the cross. I visited a sister who gave birth in the hospital, and suddenly, as I was sitting down in that hospital, suddenly I felt like spitting out. And when I did that, I discovered what, that it was blood that came out from my mouth. I did that again. I repeated it to see uh, what am I seeing. And the medical uh, personnel that were around me saw it too. Uh, they rushed to me because the thing was much. The doctor was in the, uh, in the theater. The, so they decided to call his attention to my case. I wasn't a patient. I went there to take care of someone. That is how the devil came to afflict me with that sickness. So when the doctor came and attended to me, uh, he ran some tests, gave me drugs. I went back home, took the drugs, yet this thing persisted. All this while, I became so sick. Some of my leaders knew about it, my family, my husband, but some people, especially my children and others, did not know about it. Summarize, summarize it. what happened. Eventually, during the program, the wonders of the cross, I went there, I was so weak, I was sick. I couldn't sit inside the church. I was given a seat outside. I could not even sit well on the seat. Eventually, the man of God, gave the prayer, the word of prayers. And after that night, I kept checking and checking until today, by the grace of God, it has gone. Praise gone. Gone God. forever. Amen. Amen. Next person, next person. Let's pick just a few more and we shall be closing. <laughs> Next testifier, next testifier. Beside me here is uh, Grace Umaru that uh, sustained multiple fractures some six months back, and that resulted in impairment of uh, uh, movement. She could not walk properly unaided. She used a staff. But now, after the prayer of the man of God, uh, those uh, stiffness of the joint got loose, and she's able to walk uh, without the aid of the staff. Over mm. to you now. So, now kau godia ne agabon ubangiji abunda ale ayara yuana. Last year, 21 August, 21st August, na some accident. Muta ne kudu sura so ana pep namu. Mugu da biu ne mura yu kariye wayake guda shida ajikina. 
hana yena kafa na dukka sun karye amma ubangiji ya aiki shi yau antina ta gayace ni ta yi mun magana zan zo taro wannan ko zan zo na gida in yi taro a gida nace mata babu am from adamawa state madagan local government nace mata ba zan iya zan na gida ba zan zo taro wannan na ba da gaskiya nace in na zo ubangiji zai yi aikin shi gashi na samu warkarsuwa yau zan yadda sandan nan ba zan sake rike shi ba cikin sunan yau amen thank you jesus praise the lord broken bones broken bones joined together stiff legs stiff joint loosed she said she came right from adamawa state believing that when she came here she was going to receive her blessing and god healed her you are healed next testifier we we'll pick just three more and we close Just three more. Let's be fast. Let's be fast. Next, beside me here is Goodness Wabe. Uh, she came to testify of uh, swelling and pain in her uh, right ear for about a month. But after the prayer of the man of God, uh, that is two days back, uh, she got instantaneously healed. Over to you now. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Goodness Wabe from Zing region. Taraba State, Nigeria. I was having a severe pain on my right ear and a swelling. I was crying to God on Wednesday that God, I know that when I attend this program that the Lord will heal me of my problem. So on Thursday when I came here, when the man of God said we should put our hands where we have problem, and I put my hand on my right ear where I have the swelling. So after the prayer of the man of God, the swelling disappeared. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Swelling disappeared. Any swelling in your body, check it, it's no more there. Second to the last. Second to the last. Others, you will give your testimonies in the Sunday service tomorrow. Beside me here is uh, Peter Dechega. Uh, he has what we call chronic low back pain since 2006. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, he got instantaneous healing. Over to you now. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. When they talk about uh, somebody, is somebody who put the shoes that understand the pains. When you hear the man of God here talking about low back pain, you might think it's something small. I passed through these pains over decades, and it has not been easy. Yesterday I came, I had a knee pain, and when I went back home, it aggravated to the west, and I couldn't sleep. When I came this night, I say I must receive my healing, and to the glory of God, it is done, and it's permanent, it's irreversible. It is done. It is permanent. It is irreversible. Next, the last one. Let's take the last testimony now and we close for tonight. Remember, keep your appointment with God tomorrow. 7.30 a.m. you are here. The last testifier for tonight. Others, keep your testimony to tomorrow.
Go on. Beside me here is Ephraim Sati, a housework in medical parlance we call sleep disc, and uh, for nine good years. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he's able to uh, straighten up and also mm. to work unaided with his staff. Mm. Over to you now, Ephraim. Salam kudawarka. Ime suna Ephraim Sati. Ah, when I be a father, ni ah, do you be the Gomasha Oku? Mamma Natara soon, not a big carim. As in a get a young one, another will get up a band of them. Say the Gabaya twenty fourteen one years like a carman is to say. But yet, I should buy not a fear that a fear a gua. To Allah the Ekosa. Not to bring Zotaro. When is your Zote McKinney? Praise the Lord. You remember that woman that was bent in the Bible? This man was bent like that since 20, 2013, 2013, with that stick. But now, look at him. The stick is no more meant for him. The stick is no more meant for him. Do away with that stick. He said the stick is no more meant for him. And your stick is no more for you. Your sickness is no more for you. This is just the third night. We have three nights more. Greater, greater things are going to happen. Why not rise up and let's worship God? Raise up your hands. Look at what God is doing. We are blessed. The world is blessed. Africa is blessed. And all the continents of the world, we are blessed. Look at supernatural connection. Everywhere in the world. Open your mouth. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I worship you. I thank you. Look at what God is giving us free of charge. Free of charge. Miracle galore. We have a lot of testimonies there that we are not able to take tonight. And by tomorrow, we shall be listening to them. And as you are going home, your miracles will be taking place. As you are going home, your miracles will be taking place. As you are going home, your miracles will be taking place. And tomorrow you come and share your...